Alright, it is Friday, and you all know what that means. It means it's time, once again, for some fun little movie riffs. However, this week, instead of doing multi or one long movie riff, I thought felt like it would be better to do some of the old, really crappy shorts. Uh, that being said, we're going to do the intro on the first one. I'm going to post, I don't know, however many I feel like doing. And then uh, you'll only, they'll all be separate videos. You'll only get the intro on one, and then we'll just go through the rest. This first one is going to be from 1950... Me? And it's called Women in the Workplace. So let's see. Let's see. Let's educate ourselves on how we should treat women in the workplace. The trouble with women. Well, we're off to a great start. It's all them boobs and butts and whatnot. Can't trust them. Lester R. Biddle. Produced for McGraw Hill Book Company. But book book company? So is this for the book company? No, 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 Betty, that's wrong. Let me show you again. You use this control to get your focus, you see? Alright, this one here in the right hand corner. To lock the sweep. This feels like pointless work. Now, now let's try it again. Well, there's someone here to see you. Are you Mr. Burns? Oh, thank God, I'm saved. Yes. Mr. Donnelly up in personnel said for me to give you this card. I'm your new, uh, bearings inspector. Oh? Oh, well, I'll be with you in just a minute. No, no, one at a time. Well, I'll be back later to go over this with you, Betty. Just in the meantime, do the best you can. God, she's dumb. Would you follow me, please? Sure. Looks like he's reading a map. I think he understands how his own plan works. Here. I'll, uh, I'll be back shortly. I'll be back shortly. So he leaves for a 30 minute meeting. Well, Mr. Bradshaw, what's on your mind? Bearings, Inspector. She's a good one, too. Just look at that record. Okay, now, Walt, you've had your little joke. Give her to somebody else. I ask for a man. <laughs> we don't have a man. Ah, the invention of Grinder. If you treat her right, she might make you a darn good employee. What do you mean, treat her right? Get that chip off your shoulder. What's wrong with Messy her? eater. She's a woman, isn't she? Now, wait a minute. You got a lot of women in your department. What's wrong with one more? Did you ever hear of the straw that broke the camel's back? They're good workers. Accurate, quick to catch mistakes, a lot of patience. Yeah, yeah, but that comes out of books. I work with them, mister. I know what happened. What does happen? Like what does happen? Story. I'm curious. Come on now, tell me. What does happen? Maybe I've been misinformed. Not so long ago, you sent me a girl by the name of Myrtle Malloy. Remember? I'm just saying, I don't want to, like, interrupt our, our riff here, but... Tell me he doesn't look like he could be Neil Patrick Harris's grandfather. Well, in a matter of days, that bench looked more like her dressing table. Then came the day. Yeah, whole table for dressing? Uh, Joe, will you take your stuff back to table nine? That'll be your bench for the time being. Okay, Chief. Uh, Myrtle, uh, we're moving you to table number ten. Is something wrong, Mr. Bradshaw? No. No, nothing's wrong. We just need this space for something else. Well, I sure hate to give it up. It's been a nice place to work. The light's good here, and it's nicely situated right in the middle of things. I just began to feel at home. Well, I'm sorry, Myrtle, but... Table 10 will have to be your work area for the time being. You mean there's liable to be another change? There's always that possibility. Well, I certainly hope I'm not moved every other day. With and the nerve of her to want reasoning and common sense. How dare she? But with Myrtle, a little move is a big production. Okay, okay. Now, wait a minute. You ask me, now let me tell you. You bastard. Now, here's another problem. A vending machine? They have a cigarette dispenser in their office? Oh, Mr. Bradshaw, I wanted to tell you that they're allowed to smoke in my marriage. office. I'll be leaving soon. Marriage? Mm -hmm. I thought you just got engaged. Oh, well, I told you about it six months ago. We were only waiting till we could find a place to live. Six months ago? Oh, brother. Well, how soon are you leaving? So the trouble with women is that you have no concept of time. That really put us in a bind around here. It takes time to break in a relief, girl. Yes, I know it. You had six I months. Wondered. Why didn't you say something? I didn't realize you were getting married right away. Well, I'm sorry, Mr. Bradshaw, but, but I really thought you knew. We've all been talking about it. 
Nah, I don't listen okay, when you speak. Uh, but how many blushing brides do you have? Besides, what's all this got to do with Dolly, the new girl? She's already married. And she's a qualified bearings inspector. You know she what inspects I was doing? Oh, that was a terrible joke. I'm going to leave that one. No. I was trying to cope with one of the biggest problems of all, Walt. Now, in your books, it comes under the general heading of absenteeism among women employees. Yesterday, I spent an hour and a half teaching one of our girls what she needed to know. Look, I don't want to call you a jackass, but absenteeism is not related just to women. I barely pay attention at work. I'm largely there to be a face. I don't... I'm not sure what my job is. Question. All these things you've been talking about. Marriage, absenteeism, personality problems. Aren't they really just a part of life? Part of a woman's life, maybe. But I can remember the good old days when there were all men in my department. And we all sexy, burly men. Output you've got now either. Look, Brad, you've got a new bearings inspector who happens to be a woman. You need someone, and there isn't a man available. It seems to me that whether the gal adds up to trouble or not is pretty much up to you. What I'm saying here, Brad, is you're kind of a jackass. Meh. You know, you're paying me for that half hour, right? Meh. Women. Brad's trouble's that he's a douche. That's my take, anyway. Wow, that and was music. it? You're basically that was... having a conversation. Alright, so there's our short. The Trouble with Women, which comes to zero. I might add, zero... Oh no, that's the wrong button. Zero resolution whatsoever. We have we have no we know that Brad is a douche. Brad is definitely a douche. But like at the end of that short, what is resolved? Has Brad decided to do his job better? Or did his boss just say, Suck it up, douche nozzle? There's really no that I'm just saying they could have resolved that better. They could have written it better too, but they could have resolved it better. Alright, on to the next one. Bye!